What's up, everyone, and welcome to Video Game Book Club. I'm Beck. And I'm not, thank God. I'm not Beck either. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. Uh, I'm Daniel, this is Clay, and yep. today, if you hadn't figured it out by reading the title of the title, video, yeah. we are going to be playing Mighty Number no. 9. 9? Why not 8? Uh, because there's 8 other robots, and I guess he was the ninth. and... Uh, that sounds familiar. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Eight other robot uh, underlings? Yeah. Yeah? That sounds real familiar. I don't know. Let's check it out. Yeah, let's go. Mighty Number no. 9 is not a good game. Thanks for joining us. <sighs> Fine. What is there to say? Mighty Number no. 9 had a long road from Kickstarter to its initial release in April of 2015. Nope. September 15th, 2015. Try again. First quarter 2016? Almost there. June 21st, 2016? <laughs> there you go. Fourth time's the charm. There were a few delays, apparently, and a whole lot of pissed off fans, along with some Kickstarter backers who still haven't got their copy yet. Luckily for us, we always had low expectations for the game, which it still did manage to miss by a lot. And they were pretty f low. I actually lived in a constant state of denial while we played, repeatedly telling Clay I was having fun. I wasn't. The game looks bad. Mighty Number no. 9 pulls off a look that screams, hey, make me into a Saturday morning cartoon so I can sell licensed products to kids. Also, we made the game look like something that would have come out 10 years ago. So, you you can hire those cheap, cheap overseas animators that that basically work in slave conditions like the Simpsons. Also, all our characters are dumb. And our game is bad. And we hate everyone who bought it. And f*** you. Guys cry like an anime fan on prom night. I listened to Daniel's denials that the game wasn't bad, but I knew the truth. I love Mega Man, and Mighty No. 9 plays like a poor indie dev's ripoff. Not only does it not learn from Mega Man's rich history, it almost seems to purposely hold itself back design-wise to make sure they leave some of Mega Man's innovations for future titles, which we probably will never see, ever, after this. I, I don't even feel like doing our normal structure, so I'll finish that presentation and then Clay, you go over gameplay. Awful music is uninteresting and graphics are the quality I expect from a $10 360 download. That's Xbox 360 from years ago. That's like old school now. Jumping sucks, shooting sucks, bosses suck, and the dash mechanic, while interesting on paper, is only fun in boss battles. You don't actually shoot to kill normal enemies because you want to absorb them for points. Bosses take a certain amount of damage, then you dash into them. Unless you miss the window, then they regain their health. At no point does Mighty No. 9 feel like an evolution of past Mega Man, Mega Man's Mega Man games. And at no point is the gameplay something I walked away enjoying. Robots doing robot things. Honestly, we don't know. We couldn't bring ourselves to finish the story. We were trucking right along in our Mighty Number no. 9 denial. Then we got to, I think, Mighty Number no. 5. I don't really remember or care. The game ditches the checkpoint system that you've come to rely on, and instead the entire level is the boss fight. Great idea on paper. Sounds great. Until you play it and find out that the level is just a hallway that wraps around itself, and you just have to keep finding the robot master, or I mean, robot friend over... And over again, we didn't beat the boss. And we didn't finish the game. For whatever reason, this level is when Mighty Number no. 9, Mighty Number no. broke our resolve. And the lies we had been telling ourselves no longer held up to the truth of what was in front of us. The game was bad. Mighty Number no. 9 doesn't deserve your money. Not when it was kickstarted, and especially not now that it's out as a full retail product. I bought the Collector's Edition as a monument to Mighty Number no. 9's failure. And Afune should buy a lot of those Collector's Editions too, as a constant reminder of why he shouldn't make games maybe. I don't know. 
We'll see. Maybe Recore's good. Mighty number no. 9 made me miss playing Mega Man. I don't like Mega Man. Yeah, Clay, I actually, um... I thought the K was going to be good. You tricked, for a second. You tricked me into being like, you know, it's not that bad. And then it was. And then it was that bad. You know, if, if bad. you see this game for like five bucks. Grab it. Don't grab it. It's still not worth it. I mean. It's not good. It's, I didn't say really pay bad. for it. I just said grab it. Looks like a PS2 game. Yep. Plays that garbage. Yep. Everything about it's bad. It's really not good. It shouldn't exist. No, don't buy the Wii U version. Stay far away from it. Yeah. It's Stay worse. away from all the versions. All the versions are bad. I have a statue of Beck in my house now. Why? Because it was cheap. <laughs> was not, it less than $5? Not cheap enough. <laughs> nope. I took that bullet for you guys. You did. We'll see you next time on Video Game Book Club, unless my number nine has broken our spirits. Oh, it's killed us. Yeah. It's over. No more videos. No, bye. Cheers and much. See ya! We'll see. We haven't shown the review yet. I mean, I actually... Uh, I think we're under attack. <laughs> Mighty number no. 9 has come after us for a Even the cats are pissed off at this game. Yeah, so let's just go ahead and get into it.